Hello and welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome to my channel. I am Sarah Puto, Saggy Sarah, and today we are doing part two of my tattoo tour, which is my legs. <laughs> okay, cool. Anyway, let's just get started. I am going through them, not in any specific order, but kind of going from up to down so I don't miss anything because I miss something every single time I try and go through my tattoos. So first of all, the You'll Be Okay tattoo, I think it's pretty self-explanatory considering that it is on some past scars. Yes, those scars are uh, self-harm scars. I used to struggle with um, self-harm and I got this tattoo in a point of my life where I I just broken up with my first long-term partner and it was really sad and I just felt very lost in life and was worried that I would like resort back to those maladaptive coping patterns if you know what I mean. So I got you'll be okay tattooed on me because I really felt like I wasn't gonna be okay but a part of me knew that I was gonna be all good and look at me now, I was all good. <laughs> But yes, so I got that. I get a lot of compliments on that tattoo. I got it done by European Sun. I think he changed his username to 222. Anyway, put it here. <laughs> Highly recommend him. He's done a, quite a few of my tattoos, as you will see. Yes, lovely tattoo. Highly recommend getting something tattooed with a meaningful saying over your scars, if that's something you struggle with too, because it has helped me a lot. And I luckily have worked through those issues with myself and I no longer resort to those maladaptive coping mechanisms if you know what I mean. Next we have this Hanya mask. I got this from a flash sheet kind of because they are all like a slightly bit different so it was kind of inspired by this tattoo artist flash sheet. I had wanted to be tattooed by him for ages and he also did the crocodile slash alligator. I'm not sure which one it is, so if somebody knows. I remember there's, one of my friends told me there's something about like to do with their arm length or positioning on whether it's a crocodile or alligator. <laughs> but either one, <laughs> it's one of those. Um, so yeah, just, just feel free to tell me in the comments. <laughs> yeah, so I got those two. No specific meaning, just think they look beautiful absolutely stunning next we have this absolutely magnificent stick and poke i've done of a balloon dog why i don't know i just randomly drew a balloon dog and i was like okay cool that looks fun i will tattoo that myself when i was practicing stick and poke i don't think it's that great at all <laughs> don't think it's well done so i need to either fix it or cover it up or just leave it i don't know it's just there and that's that's my life. Next we have this cat tattoo. Um, it is my cat that passed away, Ninja. I am not gonna cry. Um, he passed away late February so I got him tattooed pretty much. I think it was like literally a few weeks after he passed because he has been, was, damn. I'm still not used to using past tense and I still always say I have two cats so that's kind of sad but anyway he was the light of my life no he just really meant a lot to me and I believe that soulmates can be animals too and he was definitely one of my soulmates and we were meant to meet each other and help each other through this life he was a rescue cat from Bangkok and I got him well I res rescued I took him from the streets. <laughs> the cat distribution system provided me with him. <laughs> if you know what that is. If you know, you know. If you don't, then don't worry about it. Yes, I was provided him kindly through the cat distribution system when I was like, I don't know, I think I was maybe 10. So I got him tattooed. Anyway, it looks, it looks like him. And it's really nice to have him on my leg because that is where he would always sit and suckle on my hand that sounds really weird but it was not weird it was adorable <laughs> because his mom abandoned him and he had issues <laughs> okay next <laughs> we have this beautiful dragon on my leg i have also wanted to be tattooed by him for such a long time i have a vlog of it and i also have a vlog of me getting 
the ninja tattoo so there's that and then there is also the video of me getting this dragon tattooed no other reason than other than it is beautiful i've always wanted a dragon tattoo it just was kind of like finding one that i liked next is this stick and poke face on my well above my knee um done by anna pokes she is so lovely and i've been following for her for ages so when she posted this on her flashy i was like yes getting that because it's so cool i don't know it doesn't mean anything actually at all it's just very cool looking and cute next is the lyric from the 1975 i always want to die sometimes you're sat on a train again i got it facing me i actually wasn't gonna get it facing me initially um except when patrick european son two to two asked me whether i wanted it facing me or facing the other way and good call facing me because now i can sit and read it and it's just a reminder of like yeah there's a lot of meaning to it it's also in the video that i got ninja tattooed on me so you can watch that as well if you want to watch me get it tattooed it is lyrics from the song and i've always loved the 1975 and that song has just been very it's just come up at random times at random important parts of my life and i've just been like yes and it's weirdly whenever i'm sat on a train going to brighton so then i got it tattooed in brighton <laughs> It's a nice kind of reminder for me because I have been someone who's been depressed my whole life basically and struggled with suicidal tendencies and suicidal ideation so it's like that reminder that like I know it's there but it will go away and just kind of like the same way that I'm always sat on the train when I'm listening to that song it's either from like good things neutral things or bad things and bad times there will always be different points in life and regardless of having those suicidal thoughts or or just being depressed like i'm still alive and well and functioning and surviving and thriving and slaying so yeah you're sat on a train again you might be there again but you're still slaying next is the tattoo on my knee i actually initially got it done in south africa and this is what it used to look like before, but ever since I got a tattoo machine, I've just been practicing on myself with my shading work. I definitely need to redo it again. It's a very um, not well done because at the top you can see it's like quite a lot darker, but then as you go to the bottom, it's a bit more faded because the pain was a lot. I did not realize how much it hurts to <laughs> like tattoo your knee in black work because when I was just getting the line work done, it was super chilled, it wasn't bad at all. So that's that, no meaning. Once again, I just thought it looked cool. Like a lot of my tattoos I've done, or got done with like line work, with the idea that in the future I might change my mind and wanna get it shaded, so then I would have that option of getting it shaded, but I wanted to really think about that first because I wasn't sure if I wanted to kind of go for like the line work vibe or like the black work vibe, so it was nice to have that option and now i've decided that i'm going black works now i have a lot more skin to just mess around with you know and redo so it kind of feels like you're getting a new tattoo even though you're not but you still have that exciting feeling about it next i have this ghost from jade's flash she is also so lovely i highly recommend if you want a really kind gentle artist she is exactly that her flash sheets are immaculate i very much love them highly recommend her and yeah uh it doesn't have any meaning other than it looked cool and just look at the detail on the like little sparkling drink i'm like ee, it's so cute and i love the party hat with the happy and sad faces because that is so me why is this me at parties just sitting there like with my drink that's me at parties if you've ever seen me with a hat obviously <laughs> next is this panther on my leg i wanted it's kind of like a spin-off of the like the traditional traditional trad panther tattoos you know what i mean so it's like kind of new school but old school vibes once again just thought it looked cool 
And then next I have the flame on my ankle. Again, thought it would look cool. I love it. It's honestly so cute. The artist who did it also did my 1996 tattoo and it ended up going viral on Pinterest and I was like, <laughs> I'm so cool. Cool. Here's the photo. Woo. <laughs> um, and then we have the Doberman head. That was a very impulsive flash tattoo that I got when I was going to Laws to get tattooed. Um, Tommy, the artist, was also working at that tattoo studio, so I saw his flash and I was like, I need that. I need it. I want it. So then I got it. I don't even really like dogs, to be honest. I am very much a cat person, but it just looks so cool. I love a Doberman head tattoo. Next is the scorpion. Once again, I just love how scorpions look as tattoos, so I had to get one. I'm not a Scorpio. I don't have any Scorpio placements either, I don't think. I think I might have one. I'll check after this. I don't think I do though. But anyway, um, yeah, everyone always asks, did you get it because you're a Scorpio? No, I, I like Scorpion tattoos though. The next is my 1996 tattoo. That is the year I was born. I just thought it would look cool getting it. And again, obsessed with, it's the same like font as this one and my ego death tattoo. So I got 1996, nice. Next, I have a little band-aid on me that was just a random tattoo that I got. I'm clumsy and I fall sometimes and stuff, so it's cute having a little band-aid. I was initially wanting to get it on my knee, but I'm kind of glad I didn't, so now I have more space on my knee to do something bigger. And then next, we have this cherry. It used to not be blacked out, but I was practicing and did it myself and blacked it out myself. I think I did a good job. I really think I did a good job, no offense. Um, I first did it in a stick and poke and then eventually once it was healed and I waited a few weeks I did it again with machine just to really get in there and shade it out properly because with stick and poke it's hard to get everything there and I'm really I'm not patient when it comes to tattooing Generally in life, very patient with tattooing, not the patient, so. <laughs> Next we have this Monstera leaf. I also just had the outline prior and then decided to go through it in black ink. Just because I thought it looked really cool, I saw on Pinterest someone had a blacked out Monstera leaf and I was like, oh, that's so cool. That is another tattoo I can practice my tattooing on. So then I did and I think it looks so cool now. I love it, love it so much. Next, we have the 1975 box tattooed. You know I had to get it. Once again, that was another stick and poke that I did. It is very much, I need to go over it. I just keep leaving it because, I don't know, I'm lazy. But I will go over it and make it look nice. Next is the panther head, similar to the panther body. Just thought it looked cool. Always loved the style of panthers. So I knew I needed to get it tattooed. And then we have the number 11. 11 is my lucky number. So I have it tattooed on my leg. And it's my lucky number because I'm born on August 11th and I'm egotistical like that. So my favorite lucky number has to be the one from my birthday. I feel like that's a lot of people though. So I'm not gonna judge myself too heavily on that. But if you have any questions about any of my tattoos, feel free to ask away in the comments. General pain of leg tattoos, I personally don't find them that painful. Uh, the inner thigh ones were fine because I think they're just line work and the artists have su had such gentle tattooing methods. So they were really chilled, all good. I do have a really high pain tolerance, so that also adds to the reason why they weren't so painful. Both stick and poke and machine tattooing have been generally the same for me, pain-wise. The only one that hurt was the knee that I did myself. I was like, yeah, that was, that was pretty painful. <laughs> and I kept like uh, tapping out and being like, okay, I need a break, would take a break, and then go back and, try again so that is so why it just looks like such a mess which I need to fix but yes the knees were probably the worst pain thigh area it's just kind of annoying to get tattooed just because um, if I have to sit up for it, it it's not like it hurts more it's just I'm just kind of there like 
you know. But yeah, not bad at all. I thought it would hurt a lot more than it did, so highly recommend getting your legs tattooed, even if you feel like you're scared that the pain will be bad. But think about it, just a few hours of pain and you'll be sexy forever. That's just my biased opinion. If you have any other questions, please leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to give this video a like if you like this video or any of my tattoos, or save it to a playlist if you wanna use this as tattoo inspo. And thank you so much, and I hope you subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next week for a piercing tour, and eventually I will get to my arm tattoo tour because I am getting more additions to this arm. So thank you for being patient and waiting. <laughs> thank you for watching. Bye.